Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. Rarely have I created a painting with such a dramatic sense of the radiant light from heaven as my newest work. Welcome to the Garden of Grace. When I created this painting, I was thinking of the message of grace that we celebrate, an inspirational message that's especially needed today. All of us face challenges at times during our life, and it's nice to know that God's love is there to watch over us and that His hand of protection is there. And that's really the theme of the Garden of Grace. His grace is there, ready to help us get through difficulties, to encourage us with love when we need it. This painting really celebrates a sense of God's unconditional love, to me symbolized by the light pouring from the heavens, pouring through the trees, and spilling onto the ground below. As we experience the love of God, we take tentative steps up the broken pathway of our life. And of course, you see the stone steps that are cracked, and they have a sense of moss growing between the panels and in the cracks. And so we see the gate that is open leading into the Garden of Grace. I enjoyed painting the wrought iron of the gate and creating the effect of dappled light as it hit the edges of the iron bars and the curving forms of the gate. I wanted to create a sense of spectacular foliage and so I really detailed the individual plants. You see a lot of very small brushwork. I use a very fine brush to create those strokes and then put the color on very thickly blending each stroke into the other to suggest the dense foliage that you see. I love flowers in the spring and summer when there is just that riotous explosion of color. And when you see gardens, it's almost like seeing a little glimpse of heaven. There's a beautiful effect of morning mist that we enjoy here in the Bay Area, and I've been studying that effect recently. And I wanted to feature that in this painting. In the morning, the colors get very soft and subtle, and the distant areas get very gray and indistinct. And so, of course, we see that the distant areas are shrouded by that mysterious sense of morning mist. Because of that effect of light, you see the dramatic power of radiant sunbeams as they come through the trees. And of course, when you dim the lights on the painting, as we do in our galleries, and as you can do in your home, you'll really see that light begin to glow. This painting, because of its very strong contrast between the light and dark, gets especially radiant, even at those very low light levels, even at the dimmest point of illumination. The painting will have a wonderful glow to it. The effect of light in the painting was created through the use of layering. I put a layer of paint down and then I slightly build it up with yet a more luminous, brighter layer and I keep adding layer upon layer until the most intense points in the light effect have maybe a dozen or more layers of paint. That creates almost a sculptural quality to the technique, making the radiant and light-filled areas really stand out. People ask where my inspiration comes from. Really, I get ideas everywhere I go. I've been in England quite a bit studying the gardens there. And I take my sketch pad and I take my easel out and set up quite a bit and paint on location. And many of you are familiar with my plein air collection and some of the paintings I've done out of doors. When I study the colors of nature, I get new ideas for paintings. And in my Garden of Grace painting, I really wanted to accentuate all the colors of nature. You see a variety of colors in the trees. You see a sense of color spilling over the landscape in the Garden of Grace. It's as though the blessing of abundance is there for us. That's another theme that I wanted to emphasize in this painting. The garden is overflowing with goodness and with color and with light. Garden of Grace is the first painting in a brand new series. So if you are someone who likes to watch out for the first in a collection, this is the very first in a series. I'm calling the Gardens of Light. Gardens of Light hopefully will celebrate 
light, the light of heaven, just resplendent as it pours over a garden setting. I hope to add future pieces to the collection in the coming years. This is Thomas Kincaid reminding each of you to always let your light shine. God bless.